Hello, it's Sarah. And that's my mosaic wall at the moment. I've got two, four, six, seven mosaics that I've completed um, this year. So I'm going to pull down. I have two new ones that I'm going to share. So I'm going to get that and show you what I did. This one is the first one I did. And I had this board prepped. I think I got this one at AC Moore. It might be a little hard to show you because it's long. Let's see if I can take a measurement. This is, wait, it starts over here. Sorry, guys. Let's see. 18 inches. And it's like kind of skinny. So let's see. One, two, three, four, by five. And I based it with the Martha Stewart. I'm pretty sure, you know what? This might be, no, I think this is the Martha Stewart, this one. The Poiple Pearl. I think so. If not, it's a jacquard and it's very similar color. So if you like it, Martha Stewart's awesome. And I told you guys that my son, I made the believe in my, in your dreams one and I added more color and that's what I want to do. I want to start adding color. I want to start adding texture with metal pieces as well. I haven't done that as much lately either. I don't have very many tiles with metal. I'll show you one right here. This is an older one that I did, this little bear. I'm gonna go down and find these two. These are like, I guess it's a spacer bead, but when you're beading, the hole goes through the head and you could put a little bead in his belly too. Um, so I'll just start at the bottom. This one I made way back and I embedded a bunch of um, seed bead, or these are actually, yeah, they're seed beads, I think, and a, and a gem in the middle, and did the um, mica powders on the outside, so that's my dragonfly. And then this, this one's one of my newer ones, these two, this one, these two, obviously, the two inches in this. But these were older, this, definitely this. This I can't even find this stamp, and I wanna use it, and I can't find it. Um, so this one, definitely, I gotta make some more of these. These are awesome. I love these leaves and I embedded beads in that. Um, I put some words, so that's new. A little pop of red there, it fit with hearts. This is one of my newer ones too. Um, I'll go to the side a little bit. Uh, remember my flowers with the um, three-dimensional leaves that I did? So, and then this is one of my painted tiles from this is an older one. That's an older one. Um, I love the colors on that. I'm going to have to figure out. Oh my gosh, look at the light blue and the dark blue. See, I just finished making a bunch of those. <laughs> so I'm like really loving them. Um, this says, believe in the power of positive thinking, which I do. I totally do. I don't think negative. I try, and I mean, I, it works. It really does. I just always think positive. Get those negative thoughts out of your head. Don't even go there. And you'll just, life is just so much better. It's so much easier. Um, so anywho, this is, and I'm going to be working with some more um, gold leafing. I want to play with that again. I got Lori's book out again and reviewed the techniques that I learned in the class quite a bit more. Because I was really, I definitely want to add my applique to my pieces because that's kind of my thing maybe you know what I mean that maybe that'll be my thing um, so I have a hope one down here a special up here with some applique and then I put it on the power because um, there was a lot of blank space so I wanted to fill that in um, and so it's kind of more of the same um, and then again this big butterfly at the top with the inset gems and these are just glass they have to be glass because you bake them and a couple of gold seed beads and some more mica powders. So basically, you know, I try to keep the, th the um, what is it called? The, um, when you're, it's, I know the words just stuck in my head. Anywho, um, <laughs> when you're designing, um, I try to keep it kind of like, I put a painted, painted. I put a gem, gem. You know what I mean? Like I try to keep it so that your eye isn't like stuck in one place type thing. I don't know. So that's the first one. I love it. It's it's a, it's cool because it's kind of one of those pieces that'll stick. See how there's like some black and whites too that kind of go all the way down. They're not like clustered in one spot. So that is, it's kind of a neat size. I like that one. Then this one is actually a, a frame that I've had in my stash forever. 
Um, I want to say, no, this one I actually did not get at Michael's or AC Moore. I had this for years when I used to paint. Um, and it's made of that, like, mace, I want to say masonite. That's what comes to mind. I can't think of it. It's like that pressed plywood. Um, and I painted it again with that purple pearl. I just love it. And I wanted to do, Lori does um, icon, like mosaic cons, she calls them. And they're icons. And it's usually some type of a saint or something. And she puts a frame around it, sometimes a house. She has crown, pointy pieces and stuff. I didn't, you know what, I'm going to try and... Let me see if I can prop this up. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to prop it. My water bucket's right here. I'm going to prop it up and then move the camera. I think you'll have a better view. Um, so anyway, this is what I came up with. It was my. I'm going to play with these some more. Um, I just had this. Um, it's a digital download that I had. It was a little girl. And I love the word delightful because my granddaughter, that used to be one of the words that we called her, delightful, and um, it was cute. But... She doesn't, she seems a little kind of like, I don't know, nervous or something. I don't know. I'm not really thrilled. And I did glue the, it's just a piece of chipboard because I didn't have the back. I took a piece of chipboard and cut it down to fit and um, glued it in there. So it is glued, oopsie, glued in there. And I just glued her to the, the front of it. Um, it is, there is paper, decorative paper, but you cannot see it. So um, again, this is my, I'm trying to add more color, more flash, more texture. I'll start in this corner and kind of go over, but you see these blings? I went to Michael's and they had clearance and I might go back and get more because they're gorgeous. And Lori actually, um, here they are, I want to show you. She puts these on her pieces without embedding them into clay, I noticed. I was looking at some of her pieces and notice that she doesn't always embed them into the clay. So you don't have to. I ran out of the other ones. See, I have to go get more of them. Um, but this is the one. This one's up at the top. And look at that. It's just gorge. And it came with, I think, four. One, two, no, three. Only three. Yeah, three. Because I have one on here and two more left. For like two, I think it was 250 so that was pretty good, but I love the sparkle. And then this one, and they're little jewelry pieces, see? But you can embed this into the clay, and it stays because it has, I mean, you could probably cut those little things off, but there, I used two of these, one, two, in the piece. I used the big one up top, and then there's this one, which I don't know where the other ones of these are. I put them somewhere. They're in, the, like, I have containers all around me with stuff everywhere, so but I wanted to add some more bling. I pulled a few pieces that I had done previously, like this one with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go downstairs and find these again. I know where these are, this heart with the wings. Um, some of the um, gold leafing pieces, I need more of that. I put one of my music notes things, some white ones to play. I put like my Harlequin stamp, these are stamped. I didn't paint these. Oh, Kirby's busting in. Look what I did here. I used some seed beads, some gold. <coughs> Excuse me. I hadn't done that. I, I did it on my original one, and Lori does it a lot, but I hadn't done it, so I there was just kind of a biggish gap there, so I thought, oh, I'm going to throw some in there. I put some of these size, like it's, a, it's an E bead, I think, but I'm not sure what size. Some more seed beads are here. Um, I put these, like, these are glass, like, I don't know what they are, but they're square and they have this like iridescence to them. So I filled a, a space there. And then here's um, that piece at the top. So I'm running out of time, but I love it. I'm gonna put pictures. I'm probably, see this is another one with clay embedded or I mean embedded um, beads in the clay. All right, you guys, I'm gonna uh, put some pictures on Etsy when I list these. So thanks for watching.